Okay. So in this case we have a higher root. It's not squares to the power of four here. The first step is I'm going to write this in standard form by adding fifteen to both sides of the equation. Let's do that. So we get r to the power of 4 minus h r to the power of 2 plus 15 is equal to 0. So I can let r to the power of 2 equal to x or y, some variable. Let's call it y or anything you like. So we're going to let y equal to that r to the power of 2. So, solving by substitution method. If I square both sides of here, then you can see that y squared then would be r to the power of 4. You do that every time you see these two variables or one is the square of the other one. If one is the square of the other one, you can make this kind of substitution. You let this one with the lower exponents equal to some variable like y. If I square both sides, I should get the other one. So if I go back and substitute this, you notice that my r to the power of 4 is, is y squared now. And my r to the power of 2 is just y. So we're forcing this to be a second order equation. I can simply solve this by factoring. This is this factorable? It's not factorable. You have to use the quote I formula. Can I find two numbers when I multiply them together? I get 15, and when I add them up, we get minus 8. 3 and 5. Very good. 3 and 5. And both of them have to be minus. Then we get minus 8. So here we have it. y minus 3 equal to 0. So y is equal to 3, or y minus 5 is equal to 0, so it means y is equal to 5. But we're not solving for y, we're solving for r. We have to go back to our original assumption. You assume that y is equal to r squared. And we found, we found two values for for y, so we have to test both of these. You say, okay, if y is equal to 3, then I'm going to solve for r. 3 is equal to r squared, and then I have another value for y. y is equal to 5. So 5 also must be equal to r squared. How do I solve for r here? Anybody remember that? What do I do to solve for r when you have r squared? What do you do? This is like a square root method, right? If I have something square is equal to number, if I have r square is equal to 3, r would be equal to what? You take a square root of both sides, right? We have two solutions that would be plus and minus square root of 3. Same thing here. If r square is equal to 5, so r must be equal to plus and minus square root of 5. So we get four solutions here. We get <coughs> square root of 3 minus square root of 3. We get square root of 5 minus square root of 5. These are, these are our solutions. It's called solving by substitution method.